Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Rig Expert was kind enough to send me the brand new AA500 stick by Rig Expert Ukraine. They make great antenna analyzers. I've shown almost every one of them that they've made on my YouTube channel. In fact, the one they sent me last year, the AA2000 Zoom, they said, you keep this, show some videos on it. This is the flagship right here. This is this is the one that does it all. But let's say you don't want something like that. Let's say you want to save a little bit of money and you want to have something for parks on the air, uh, summits on the air, QRP day, field day, or even just checking out anything that has to do with an antenna in resonance from 100 kilohertz to 500 megahertz. That includes ham radio, all the HF bands, even broadcast AM radio, shortwave radio, uh, VHF uh, high band for commercial, 47 megahertz CB radio, MERS multi-use radio service, VHF marine band, GMRS, 220 military radio, and so many more frequencies that this will do. And the key about this is having an antenna analyzer is way beyond having an antenna tuner because an antenna tuner is not tuning your antenna. When it's behind the radio, it's tricking the radio to be happy with that 19 to 1 SWR that doesn't belong on your radio for 20 meters. But you decided to load up a stop sign and you think that it's good. No. The reason antenna analyzers exist is because you need to know what your antenna is doing. I don't use antenna tuners. Go ahead and find one after all my videos in the past. Find one right now in my house. You won't because I just like to have resonant antennas. So I'm going to show you about this, the A500 stick. The thing is right below this video in the description, Gigaparts sells every rig expert that they have. And Gigaparts has given you 5% discount on this and any other rig expert that there is. I want to thank rig expert for sending me this and for sending me this in the past because I love their products. And you know, they didn't tell me to say anything. I'm showing you this right now. We're gonna show you sweeping an antenna, give you an overview of, the, uh, overview of the device. I'm gonna show you the Bluetooth app real quick and then give you an idea on, you know, why you need this. But let me thank my other sponsors, Ham Radio Prep. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So the best way I can show you this antenna analyzer in use, I'm gonna go out to my vehicle and hook it up to an antenna and give you an idea what this does. Let me give you an overview real quick though. USB-C charging, okay? On the bottom, you pull this little rubber thing out and here's your USB-C. It does come with a nice cloth braided USB-C that you plug into anything and charge this thing. Great for people with parks on the air, summits on the air. Um, People that can charge it on solar off their laptop or I mean, it, it doesn't require batteries like the big one that I have. Okay. They also give you a strap in here if you want to tie that onto there and keep it, you know, uh, around your neck or whatever and be able to go around at field day and get people's antennas tuned or, you know, whatever. And I say that again, you're not using an antenna tuner. You're tuning your antenna. That's why they have antenna analyzers. That's why they exist. So <clears throat> this has a a white, a 200 by 200 white e-paper display. So what does that mean? You know, you may think, well, this is going backwards as technology. Well, why put a huge color dis you know, display on here? Uh, this one will be a little bit less in price than the Stick Pro. And to be honest with you, in, you know, outdoor and, and full sunlight, I don't need a color display. I don't need a touch screen. I need to see data, all right? And watch how this works. If I go like this, you see how it changes, okay? It's called a, a e paper or a, a white e display or e paper display. It's kind of like the Kindle readers years ago before we had touch screens and stuff like that, okay? Now, <clears throat> right off the bat, you see you have 
single, multi, ham, and what's that say? Free. I'm not sure what free is. We're going to look at that. Um, I can't remember what the, all the other ones I've done. Basically, this will give you a single point at a specific frequency between 100 kilohertz and 500 megahertz and show you the SWR chart and the return loss, or you could do multi, which is great. I'll show you that. That's like if you want to do 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20 meters all at the same time, it'll do you, you know, uh, you could do multi on here. It's pretty cool. Or you could sweep from zero to 500 megahertz and look at all the resonant points if you want. All right, um, I'm going to show you that in in demonstration. On the top, when you pull this off, okay, rubber cap, it's got a SO239, and that's no big deal. People are going to ask in the comments, they're going to say, why don't they put an N on there for, for uh, you know, UHF? Well, you know, to be honest with you, the majority of the people are going to be using this with HF, CB radio, uh, you know, VHF uh, high band or VHF marine or multi-use radio service. And you know what? To be honest with you, you're not going to use lose that much loss at UHF or GMRS by replacing this with an N connector. I'm guessing that they did this just for a simplicity. All right. And you know what? They developed this. I have no intentions of asking them why they didn't do that. Don't ask me. And don't ask them. Just assume they know what they're doing. That is my general consensus. Here's my AA2000 zoom. And look, there's a little adapter on the top. Now, this is N on the top here because it goes up to 2000 megahertz, which is more important with an N. But you can get an adapter like this that goes from N to SO239, or in this case, PL239 to, to N female. Okay? No big deal. I'm not worried about it. And the thing that this is rechargeable. Uh, it's great for people, parks in the air, summits on the air, as I said, because you could charge this with solar, you could charge it with a battery bank, you could charge it on the side of your laptop, wherever. It lasts quite a long time. Another thing with this display is it's less current draining with a display like this than it is with a color touchscreen, for instance. You know what I mean? All right, so very simple. What can we do with this? I'm going to go outside, I'm going to show you, and then what we're going to do is while I'm outside, I'm going to show you the Antscope software. So if I go like this, um, right here, Antscope, okay? There is a, this, this has Bluetooth, okay? And this is Bluetooth capable to a computer with the software or with a mobile app. I really, really love their antenna analyzers. And if you don't want to buy a Rig Expert, that's fine. What I'm telling you is this, make sure that you at least buy any kind of antenna analyzer because you want to make your antenna efficient. Don't throw a tuner behind a radio and say your antenna is optimal. It's not. That's why these things exist. And if you think I'm wrong, you can go right below and comment and tell me that you don't need this and that your antenna tuner at the back of the radio is gonna make your 19 to one SWR efficient it's not. I'm sorry. Ask Rig Expert the same question if you don't believe me. It will not. So let's go outside and let's let's put this on an antenna real quick. I'm going to show you. And I'm going to show you the Antscope software and we'll wrap that up. But all the links for this are in the description below. You have to go below. No subscribe button. You click that. You've already clicked that. Go below in the description. All the information you need is right there. All right. Here's the antenna in question today. This is on a Comet mount. This has been, wow, mobile for years now. Look at the look at the bend on top. This is the Comet SBB7 dual band, two meter 440. Link is in the description. This thing is still rocking strong, even though the paint's missing from the lug bugs and everything else I've hit. I'm going to check this out real quick, okay, with this AA500 to see what it looks like, because I haven't put an analyzer on this in a few months. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I have this connected. Now, this is a dual band, very simple. Plus or minus increases your frequency. You see 144.4, look, 144.5, 144.6, 144.7. If you hold it, it goes fast, it buzzes, it's got like a buzzer in there. Uh, what do you call that? Like a phone, you know, it buzzes every time you push something. So we're gonna go like this, right to the middle of the band. 146.0. One point two nine to one, eighteen dB return loss. Now, if you hit the, the the arrows left and right here, 
you can get to another screen that shows you a little more of the phase, the inductance, the capacitance. Okay, the uh, parallel model. So you have a series, uh, series model and a parallel model. Series model. So your, your impedance is 39 ohms. So where would where would uh, where would 50 ohms be, right? Right, so it's telling me, yeah, say, I, you know, whatever, I don't care about the, I mean, I'm close to 50 ohms right there. I'm going to go back to 145.4, which is a D-star repeater. Okay, 43 ohms, there's your inductance, 3.96 nano -Henry's, Uh You know, the information you need to know if you're wanting to build your own antenna, this will show you that, okay? And for those who are just wanting to see what your, you know, SWR is, 1.18 to 1 at 145.4. Now let's go to UHF. So we're going to hold this. All right, so here's UHF. We're at 445, 1.61, 1.62. This antenna is, yeah, 442, 1.78. Go up top. One point four point four A, you know, is about one point six. That antenna is still operating well. Comet did a great job on the SBB seven because I've smashed things for years with that antenna, and it's still going strong. Let's look at GMRS because I am using this for GMRS, and I don't think that's a good idea. Although, let's see, four sixty two. Yeah, see, 575 is 2.8. So, see, um, I've been using this on GMRS because I modded my 7100, but here, 467, 3.7. See, not really good into GMRS, but I can see all of that on here. Now, let's go back. Okay, let's go to free. What is free? Okay, so this is your, uh, well, look at this. Okay, that gives me an idea if I hit plus or minus. Oh, that's the frequency here. Let's see. Let's let it scan. All right. Right there. See, so you can see where the dip is in the SWR if I go over here like this. There's your dip in SWR. Now, if I go back, let's go back to multi and see if multi is, uh, let's go to multi because I have an antenna on here now. All right. So, multi. So, two meters. There's your SWR on two meters, but let's go back. Where was multi at? Multi. All right. Let's go left and right here. Okay, so this thing determined that it was a multi-band antenna that did 2 and 440 on the same antenna. It didn't give me 10 meters and all that. don't need it. But look, the lowest is 1.43 to 1 at 430 megahertz on 440 UHF, 70 centimeters, and 2 meters, 1.17 at 145.16. So it appears that it's going to scan and give you the multi on what your antenna is capable of. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, all right? Go back to mode here. Let's get a single here. If you just want single, I already showed you the single. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go to ham. All right, so that must be each, each, there you go. SWR at two meters, 70 centimeters. All right, so that's just the ham band. So you could, you could sweep, if you go back, you could sweep, um, with a single frequency, like if I want my low power FM broadcast station that I have running, if I wanted to go there, or if I wanted to go into ham bands only, or you know wherever. So, a, <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. Uh, so far, that antenna is operating well. You want to see what my CB antennas are doing? Now, nah, we'll save that for another video because I have my uh, my diesel with my twin shark antennas. They're still doing good. I'll show you this. You can use this for CB as well. So. Rig expert, another fine job, folks.
All right, I'm gonna show you some Bluetooth action here on the app. All right, we're gonna turn this on. You're gonna see when you turn this on, there's a uh, Bluetooth symbol that pops up up top. All right, and on the app, the AntScope app, which is available in the Android store, there's the Stick 500. And you'll see on the unit, now it says Bluetooth with the BLE there. That's how you know it's connected, all right? So we can leave that. Now, I have it connected to my uh, Comet SBB70. Now, I don't have any antennas right now in the house that are, uh, you know, uh, connections in the house. Everything's mobile right now until I get my tower and everything else up. But it uh, gives you an idea of your SWR. So let me show you a couple things here on the app real quick. Let's go to... Let's go here. So the start, we're going to sweep just two meters. So we'll do 144. And we'll just change this to 148. Okay, so I'm going to do a sweep 144 to 148. All right. And it should start now. There you go. Okay. There's your sweep. Now it tells you from 144 to 148 what your uh, SWR is. You can go up here to your phase. Let's get this on camera here. Go to uh, impedance equals, what is that? Reactance plus J, I don't know what that is. There's some formulas on here. Uh, okay. Return loss. Right here, your return loss at different frequencies. Frequencies on the bottom. The R return loss DB is on the left. Smith chart. There's your Smith chart. You can get all of that if you're interested in, you know, <clears throat> what my AA2000 does. You can do this on Bluetooth. All right. So let's do this. Let's go to uh, sweep UHF. So we're going to do, I'm trying to do this one handed with a camera, so bear with me. 430 to 460. We'll do 100 points, full range. We'll go start. Oh, that's the Smith chart. I don't want Smith. I want SWR. Here we go. Let's see what she does. All right. So there is your, uh, you know, the SWR is no more than like 2.2 to 1 right here. Um, the lowest is at 455, which is down here close to 1.1 to 1. So you get the idea. A lot of stuff that you can do uh, on this thing here. And you can save these. These are the sweeps I just made. You can save these and plots for different things. Uh, if, if you wanted to use those for your own YouTube videos, you could do that. All right. Um, that's pretty cool. The ant scope looks like this. There it is. Ant scope. It's free on the Android. I, I guess it could be probably on iPhone. I don't know. Uh, I have an iPhone and I have an Android, but I'm using this here on the Android. So pretty cool stuff. So a big thanks to Rig Expert for sending me this. You know, um, You've seen me using this. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was their intention, that they see me using this in videos in the future. And I have with this one, this is my prime real estate right here. This thing is awesome. This thing, look at this. This thing will tell me everything I need to know about anything for an antenna. Look, if I go here, I mean, I can just go to just SWR meter, for example, right? I can do SWR meter or I can do an entire sweep, but this is costly. And maybe you're not interested in spending that much. Maybe you don't need, maybe you're using this for HF only. Well, you can do the AA35, which is 0 to 35 megahertz. You can do this, which is, you know, uh, 100 kilohertz to, to 500 megahertz. They have a whole selection. The links are below. Thank you, Rig Expert, for making this video possible. And uh, I, I hope, Rig Expert, that you understand. I'm just going to say what is on my mind. You didn't tell me to say anything. This is just me in love with your products. I've met you guys at uh, Dayton a couple times, and you know, I mean, a lot of people love your stuff, and people just sometimes can't afford it. I get it, but you put a lot of engineering into this, and um, for all the things that have been happening in Ukraine, well, I I, I, I applaud them for keeping this going with all that stuff happening. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, hey, more videos are on the way. So, have a good day.